What's up? What's up? What's up, Solar Warriors? What's up, Solar Warriors? Today is Tuesday, June 18th, 2024. My name is Jarrett McAllister, the virtual solar pro, and this is Power Hitter Solar Warrior Tribe Training. If you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook or anywhere else we're streaming, make sure to like the content, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your fellow solarpreneurs. I'm alongside a couple of my favorite dudes in the solar industry, Mr. Tom Cotter, Mr. Jonathan Bernasso. What's up, gents? How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. From uh, the solar capital of the world, Kansas City. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Uh, I am headed to Mexico this weekend to build another home for a family sleeping on the floor, something that power does once or twice a year. And uh, we're going to be taking 30 people down for the top 30 people in the summer contest, which is now through the end of August, actually. So I'm uh, excited to be here, Jared. That's awesome, man. And a couple of my favorite Geminis who both had birthdays recently. So Jonathan's just now recovering from 18 hours of pickleball straight. That's what he did for his birthday. And then Mr. Tom Cotter, whose birthday was on Father's Day. So happy birthday. And I hope you had a great Father's Day, man. Thank you. It was a good one. It was a good one. Cool, cool, cool. Well, let's kick this off um, like we do every single week. Let's start it off with some success stories. So if you've helped a homeowner go solar, you help build your team, you're excited about this new contest that we have going on, you're stacking points, which we'll get into a little bit more here shortly, raise your hand, drop it in the chat. I will call on you. Um, let's see here. I think. Oh, there we go. All right. Davis, first one to raise his hand. National team leader with power. What's up, buddy? How you doing, brother? How's it going, everyone? Grateful to be here. I just want to shout out to uh, to our Home Depot team in Bethesda, especially Emmett Summers leading our uh, store 2509. We're number one on the power leaderboards right now. And um, it's been such an honor and a journey to to learn from from Emmett and to have some of my consultants and team there learning and generating consistent leads so very very grateful and excited great job brother man i've been seeing you on the boards and active and yeah dude that's for those who don't know you know watching this and you know the the home depot relationship with power is just rocket fuel talk about a lead generation magnet um, being able to talk to not just homeowners who are going in there to improve their home, add solar, but you guys have an opportunity to connect with contractors, roofers, you know, HVAC. I, the possibilities are endless with the networking. So, um, no, that's killer. Great job there. And yeah, great job to Emmett. We just launched DC. No, no, no. Sorry. Yeah. Washington, DC. Yeah. We just launched it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What yeah. what are those what and like four hundred dollar S racks? Let's go, four, man! Four, I think four, a lot four, of people who have been around solar for a while, their ears just perked up when they heard the name Emmett. They're like, "Is that Emmett Summers?" Yes, yeah. it is. Varengo Sunrun Emmett is uh, doing some amazing things in solar still and uh, leading the way. So glad you it. are partnered up with him, Davis. And uh, thanks also just to shout out to Christian on the call here. For, uh, for all that you are doing and taking your retail experience and pouring that into the Home Depot team on a weekly basis. Thank you, brother. Love it, love it, love it. All right, next up, we got Ricardo Gallegos. What's up, brother? How are you? Come off mute. How's it going, y'all? Uh, uh, I closed my first uh, uh, mentor, uh, uh, mentor deal, uh, new recruit that I got about a couple months ago, we just closed our first. Yeah, so I'm excited to go to Home Depot, but it, it's uh, you know, it's a good. Uh, we did Sonova, and they they couldn't compare with uh, the other company. Sunrun couldn't couldn't match us, so I'm excited for that. Love it, 
Love it, Ricardo. First of many tier three deals. So building a team, helping his team, help homeowners. Congratulations, man. There's no better feeling. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Awesome. All right. We have Laurent, then Jared, then Cynthia. Laurent, what you got, man? Well, I'm quite new to the to power, but I got four people to sign up as ambassadors in a few days. So that's pretty good. Well, awesome. Lauren, do you want to share just, uh, you know, 15 seconds what you did? Oh, so basically I have a newsletter with 5,000 subscribers and I also have a Facebook page with over 250,000 followers. So I use that to, to get ambassadors. I'm going to try to get a lot more. Uh, I'm from Canada, so I need to get as many ambassadors as I can because because I can't I can't like knock on doors since I'm in Montreal. <laughs> so I just need to get as much ambassadors as, as I could. Very good, Great, Thank man. You, man. Love that you're taking action in your business. Yes, yes, and I just a pro tip: it's one thing to get people to sign up for ambassadors because I mean, hey, who who wouldn't say yeah, sure, I'll take a thousand bucks if I refer you a solar system, but you have to work your ambassador list. You can't just sign them up and think all of a sudden they're going to be pumping you deals. You have to follow up with these ambassadors. You got to stay top of mind. So just a little pro tip for you, Lauren. All right. All right. So next up, the man, Mr. Jared Foster. What's up, bro? Hey, hey, appreciate it. No, I just wanted to share. It was so exciting that uh, yesterday, one of my new team members, Zachary, got his e-wallet uh, text message saying that money was being uh, delivered into his account. So this is why I got into power was for other people, seeing other people live their dreams, be able to get paid, be successful. So it was his first uh, first payday. So just wanted to share that, give him a shout out if he's here on this call. Uh, and that's that's what we're here for, for those, those who are, are building my, teams. Those are my favorite text messages right? Power commissions, text messages, auto deposit, text messages, literally is the dream, man. So great job to your new guy. All right. Cynthia, how are you? Hey, good morning, guys. I'm good. Just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Robin Mansell and I had an install that was going on two years trying to get this ADU completed. A lot of that was city related. Um, and then homeowner related. And so just wanted to shout her out for bringing that lead to me. Um, closed two deals last week for tier ones. So I wanted to give a shout out to those tier ones for bringing that lead. Damien Montes, um, who I believe is a lender, and Jerry Cervantes, who is also a lender tapping into the pipeline. So just wanted to give those two a shout out for bringing leads. Lots of ADUs right now. The last five out of my seven last projects have been ADUs. So homeowners are adding on. That's it, guys. Thanks. Thank you, Cynthia. Great job, as always, helping the tier ones of our company, leading the way, showing them the ropes. Such a veteran. And you really could not ask for someone better to help you out. All right. Ideas. Ideas? Did I say that correctly? You literally you did. Have it's idea. Like I've got a good idea. Idea. I idea. I love yeah. it. Where are you calling I, from? Ideas. I live in Humboldt County. I live in Eureka, up at the very top of the state, on the uh, ocean in the redwoods. Very and familiar. I've been, yeah, I've been without an install partner up here for about a year and a half or so, and um, so I haven't been been doing very much anywhere because I I kind of lost my my movement. I've been with power for six years, but most people don't really know me yet, but here I am. And I just want to say that I just signed two deals in San Diego, same homeowner site survey scheduled for Monday. And I'm about to sign my first deal in Humboldt County um, on Thursday. And I've been up in the Home Depot in Crescent City, which has Pacific Power, which is a super low, they have 18 cent um, kilowatt hour and it's a pretty depressed area and the store um, didn't have a lot of people so tomorrow um, I'm shifting to Ukiah for my first day um, there and I just feel like um, I'm on a roll it's going good that is awesome you are definitely on a roll congratulations 
on making that happen and two deals last week. That's great. I do have a question for you because I've, I've had some people up in your neck of the woods. Who is the install partner now in uh, Eureka? So Lee came from Safe Haven Solar. He came back because of the uh, Home Depot in Crescent City. So um, it is Safe Haven Solar. Sweet. Right on. Yep. Well, I'm glad to know that we've unlocked that territory in California because there's a lot of people looking for solar up there. Yep, absolutely. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. All right. And then we're going to wrap this up with the man of steel, Mr. David Steele, who would think he's in Costa Rica, but really he's just in his backyard. Hey, thank you. Um, yeah, so I've been uh, I've been uh, teaching a course for the Honor Foundation, mostly Navy SEALs for over a decade now. And, uh, um, you know, when you do stuff, when you tithe your time, it comes back. And uh, I'm working on a job with Ryan Park in Hawaii on the big island. I chose a mentor for the first time in several years because there's a lot of nuances to the island and we absolutely needed him on this job. But it's a it's a big ground mount job, um, you know, probably 150K or so. And then I just got my, I think, third highest commission from another Navy SEAL here in San Diego who had a property that had two homes on it. And we did net metering across both meters, did a bigger system than just for one home and huge savings for them, like almost like a quarter million dollars in savings over 25 years. It was pretty, it was pretty awesome. And he's pretty stoked. So um, I'm still looking to see if we get all the net metering right, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to, and uh, yeah, just, uh, just having a good summer. Love it, man. And dude, that just another like awesome part of our platform mentors using mentors and how power just opens up across the, you know, across the country, across the waters. There's no freaking way you'd be able to sell solar in Hawaii with another, with another company. And you got literally one of the biggest badasses on that island to help you and your homeowner and to crush it. And I would happily split a deal with you know what I, when, when I was when I was thinking about it, learn. because I had the deal because the guy really likes me and what I'm doing, you know. And um when I when I chose to uh, work with Ryan, first off, he's just a badass. He's the most awesome guy. I went there for a week with my kids. He's like, oh, your kids are with you. I'll bring three surfboards over for the week. You can just call me at the end of the week. I'll come and get them. I'm like, who does that? You know, <laughs> but um, but I actually couldn't have done the job. And for me, like I pretend as each home is my home and I want to do the very best job. So if I'm going to walk my talk, I couldn't do my very best job. I would have called someone in local and that's why I did it. And I was so stoked and it ends up being a bigger, more complex system than we normally do. And they're the installer. So it's like, you know, it's just going to go smooth. So I'm super stoked on that. Love it. Thanks, David, for sharing. And thank you, everybody, for sharing your success stories. Dude, what are you doing? No, <laughs> with this you see corner, man, it's a thing. I love it. <laughs> hey, everybody, let me uh, jump in here before Jonathan starts talking. Um, if, <laughs> if you haven't uh, heard of this book, this guy before, check him out. Um, he says something in $100 million leads um, that I wanted to share with you all. He said, businesses solve problems. Businesses make the world better. There are too many problems for one person to solve. I want you to think about that quote in relation to you deciding whether you want to just sell with power or whether you want to invite other people into the platform because there's you know chris callier who joined here uh this morning you know chris has a ton of solar experience he's doing amazing things in central california california other states as well texas but um you know when chris started with power he thought he just wanted to sell that's what i thought too that's what most people think i think when they start with power but we got a lot of problems to solve and it's it's really challenging for you to make a huge impact with just yourself. But you can make a bigger impact, help more people if you empower more people and invite more people to work with you and work with us. Um, so just think about 
how big of a challenge we have to solarize the United States and how much you can do yourself versus how much a team can do if you invite more people to work with you. So just a thought about your own personal impact in your business, in your life with power. Back to you, Jarrett and Jonathan. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that, Tom. And uh, yeah, hey, you, for those of you who are like, what book is that? Link has been dropped in the chat, man. If you want to get yourself a copy, highly recommend it. All right. So I think we're going to go to Jonathan, who's going to do some cool new tricks on the computer. Look at that. He showed up right there on our screen. What are you doing? Am I there? Am I? Yeah, you you're, you're there. You're there. <laughs> this is weird. Let me stop this. All right. No, guys. don't stop it. Just keep it going. This is fun. <laughs> you need to record it because I can't really see it. But uh, we're going to talk about a few updates real quickly, and then we have some training topics for you as well. So type any questions in the chat. If you're new here, we have Tom, we have his AI robot responding, and Jarrett, and a whole bunch of amazing leaders here. So as always, uh, future trainings, you know, check out Power Calendar, market development calls. We got Nevada today. Tomorrow, we have a California market call, product partners, and a whole bunch. I want to shout out something in particular. This uh, Friday, June 21st at 9 Pacific, there is a team building webinar with Bobby, Charles, Jeff Martin, and then you'll see a panel with the great Zach Bach, Melissa Dawson, Edgardo, Patrick Adu, and myself. So this will be a, a jam-packed hour of team building, uh, you know, like Tom just mentioned, why team building is so important. So I'm going to go ahead and drop into the chat the link so that you can add it to your calendar, hopefully use Google Calendar, with a click of a button. So if that is important to you this Friday, 9 Pacific, go ahead and jump into that. Now, the reason why team building is also important right now is friendly reminder from now until the end of August, if you help someone come into power and get them their first contract by the end of the year, you will receive a $250 bonus, which is awesome. And if obviously, if you're the tier three mentor, you're going to get half of the commission. You're also going to get some override revenue share because of uh, this team builder bonus. So friendly reminder, guys, why team building is so important, why you should be on that Friday training. Also, one more friendly reminder on team building. You know, I can't say this enough. The compensation plan has, has literally improved. A lot of us have hundreds of dollars more thanks to this change that happened a week ago on Friday's revenue share payout. So Again, levels one and two, if, if you bring someone into the power or if they attract someone to power, you no longer have to have anyone on your front line, minimum, qualified, nothing. You're just receiving revenue share um, for their success, which gives us a vested interest in everyone's success. So really, really huge. And then you can earn on three levels uh, of revenue share that people you never would have known, never would have met in multiple states, and all you need is five people that you personally bring in to earn three levels down. Th this is huge, 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 huge. And, and as a reminder, if you do get to 20 on your front level, level five, you no longer have to sell a contract every six months to stay active. And now that's the qualification, selling contracts. So we talked about this last week. Watch that if you want more information. But I have to emphasize how huge this is. Like you, we can literally go back to people that aren't with us, people that aren't active and bring them all of these updates and the contest that we're working on right now. So I want to show you all the newsletter real fast because if you're like me, you haven't had time to read it yet. So I'm gonna just roughly go through it, guys. The Monday newsletter, you can read Jonathan Budd's message here about legacy, future generations, why the time to double down is now, and then some big news. SunGage Financial is lowering their interest rates on almost all popular loan products just for power. 
So the 9.99 interest rate has a lower dealer fee, almost nothing. This is going to be great. There's 1% dealer fee reductions on most products. Um, even the 25-year and 20-year 399 products just had a 1% dealer fee reduction. So they're great and their qualifications have gotten easier. So consider using SunGage Financial. Light Reach Proposal will be live soon. Powerwall 3 is now live on Light Reach Proposals. That's obviously something new that Jonathan Budd wanted to rush to the field. So be patient as we go through how to get proposals, how to sell the first few deals. You know what I mean? Anything new, guys, in solar in my nine years is rough. So just have that expectation. And shout out to Brian Oates on my brother's team for selling the very first deal in Washington, D.C. Massive shout out to him. So here's the contest that we talked about, the 250 bonus and the contest Summer of Championships where you can earn tons of money and go to Mexico or even win a car uh, as well. A few other announcements. There's the details on SunGage that you can read about. The team building webinar this Friday, I already mentioned. This is cool. The 2023 Digital Impact Report is now live. I didn't even know that. Tom will drop the link in the chat here, impact.power.com. Um, and this is a report that you can see our 2023 performance, a lot of the exciting announcements, Inc. 5,000 four years in a row, um, you know, helping almost 30,000 installations now, over 30,000, 23 states, and everything that power does and gives back, builds homes, donates. This will tie into the training today because you can share this asset when overcoming objections and common questions. So impact.power.com, just another amazing tool that uh, I don't think our competitors are really doing right there. Uh, there's a really good blog and lots of good social media posts. So follow Power on Facebook and Instagram and share their uh, social media posts, guys. It makes it really easy for us to do that. And of course, the summer contest, if you remember, how do we get points? One point to be a tier three mentor, close a deal as a tier three, two points to originate a lead, and three points if you originate the lead and close the deal. So 12 to 20 points is $100 per point. 20, 40 points is 150 and so forth. So you can earn tons of money right now these next few months. All-in program, for those of you that qualify, read about that. You can get a power email, some optional swag. You're committing to use power exclusively in the markets that we are in. And there is some other performance standards as well. Uh, On-demand site survey is being sunsetted. So it is, is likely going away. And we are really leveraging our strong relationships with our installers. So they are the boots on the ground. Um, this is the direction that I, I think will be successful for our platform uh, to help us really start sprinting this summer and as we go into next year. Everbright's there. Uh, Texas Proposals Utility Selection Process, read about that. New lead generator payment changes are coming. You can have unlimited lead generators. So learn about Enterprise and Seller Pro. Upcoming events here as well and some success stories from the field. Shout out to Joseph there as well. Okay, cool. So a few more just key updates for you guys. Our next master class is August 7th, uh, virtual Wednesday. And then our next power day is going to be August 24th, in-person local recruiting events to help build into Power World in Florida, September 19th through the 21st. I just bought my hotel ticket. Um, I bought a 30-pack of tickets. So if you're on my levels one, two, and three, and you're in my organization, you know, I, I do have a few tickets to help people out. And so you can attend Power World Convention. And uh, Tom Cotter's AI robot is correcting the master class. It's actually July 31st. That's an update <laughs> from Power. Breaking news. It's Perfect. moved from August to July 31st. Perfect. 
Well, that's good news. Oh, and Jonathan, if I can just really quick update about Power World. Um, you guys book your, if you have not booked your hotel yet, book it now because the first block of rooms sold out. Um, some people on the team, actually Tracy was looking to book. Some of us are arriving Wednesday. We're leaving Monday. We wanted to get the, the discount for them. It, it wasn't there. Irene followed up yesterday, got 20 more blocks of rooms and they're going quick. So if you have not booked yet, make sure uh, you go to powerconvention.com, click on the link, get the discounted rate. It's typically, I think it's like 370 or something like that. Normally it's only 200 bucks a night with our discounted rate. So um, yeah, just want to give you a heads up. If you don't do it, you will find yourselves paying a whole heck of a lot more money because not going is not an option. It's only three months away. The hotel room is very, very fairly priced. Uh, so you definitely want to be there for three days, you and your team, September 19th through the 21st. Yeah, go ahead and check that out. And one last thing, and I will also say this. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, though, but this is like literally in Universal Studios. This hotel is absolutely gorgeous. Massive water slides. And um, we're going a day early, a day later. We're bringing, I'm bringing the family so they can go out there, explore. Great time, you know, with the fam. So, yeah, it's check it out. Awesome, awesome going to be epic guys make it out there it's uh going to teach you some nuggets here from speakers network with other people in the community all of which will help you ultimately earn thousands and thousands of dollars uh beyond the cost to get there so hope to see you all there friendly reminder go buy some swag just do it do a social media post don't delay Add it to the calendar, buy the shirts, buy the hats, rock them out to the grocery store, make conversation, ask people what they do for work, and they'll ask you. If you're one of those people that have just delayed, delayed, just this is your sign, okay? Go buy some swag and post on social media and just do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Friendly reminder, art of communication. And now we're going to get to the training here. But art of communication, check milestones and notes in your project post-sale. Check tickets and replies. If you need to leave a ticket, the ticketing system has gotten much more robust. Please allow 24 business hours for tickets to be replied to. Chat is now the primary form of communication. So use chat. Schedule a huddle with your PM. And if you've done all of that and spoke to your leadership and sent a private message to Tom Cotter and you still have challenges, then you can use communication escalation at power.com. Justin Brooks, Angie Marks, and some of the executive escalation teams truly do add this to the list every week and try to root cause and help you handle those. But Friendly reminder, those are the steps to follow, and you can find the outline in Knowledge Base, and I'm sure Tom will already drop this steps for you um, as well. All right, so I don't have a ton more. We've got four common objections, y'all, that will help lead us into some good conversations and some big picture themes that I think is very helpful and of course, Tom and Jarrett and maybe a few others can jump in as well. And these were asked uh, in my uh, tier three mentor chat yesterday by some of the top mentors. So I figured, you know what, might as well take the time to answer some of these questions. So the first question that a client may ask over the four years is, I looked up power online, I saw some MLM stuff, I'm not sure I want to go with an MLM company. Now, I want to pause for a second and just say that in my nine years, when I was at Solar City Tesla, they would look up Solar City Tesla reviews and they would cancel the appointment. You have bad reviews. When I was at Sunrun, I Googled Sunrun, don't come to my house. Okay, so 
a lot of times we can get caught up in thinking that this is unique to power or maybe you're new to solar and this is the only company you've worked at. So this is a common challenge no matter where you work at. The number one tip I have is listen, acknowledge, maybe ask a question and use the feel felt found, right? I understand how you feel. I would be hesitant to. Um, other clients that have solar and are so happy over my five years, they felt the same thing initially too. What they found is X, Y, Z, you know, great experience, strong, sustainable company. They love working with me. They love what my company is all about. Like I showed you in my slide deck originally, but what about that gives you concern? What about it gives you pause, right? So ask the questions. And then I always like to share the Inc. 5000 article four years in a row. So if someone wants to drop that in the chat, that just shows the strength of power and what we've achieved in four years and the impact report as well, right? We've done this faster in four years than most any other nationwide company. We have a proven success track record. We are a large nationwide platform. Um, and I always would say too, back in 2013, Power did start as a lead generation company with a networking aspect to it. You are right. In 2019, we transitioned to the best solar installing model in the industry. So I can acknowledge them in that manner. And then of course, there's a slide in your homeowner slide deck you should be covering every time, why power, why you should work with me, and why you, the seller, chose to partner with power. And that can also provide some strength there. And then two more things, you know, speaking to the sustainable model of power, when other companies have gone bankrupt, Mr. Customer, I choose to be here. My clients love how sustainable we are and decentralized we are and how we're able to stay in business and thrive, especially with all these headwinds out there. Interest rates are high. You know, we have utility challenges, regulation challenges. And I always love showing the coverage map as well. Um, Tom, Jarrett. Yeah, you know yeah. I, I'm happy to hop in on this one because I, I actually, I love it when people hit me with this objection or if it gets brought up or yeah, I, I looked up reviews on power and uh, powers at MLM or first of all, MLM is one of those terms. It's, it's a gross term. No one wants to be affiliated with the MLM. Um, yeah. We have a networking aspect of it. I ask the first thing I ask people is I say, are you familiar with uh, EXP realty? EXP Realty is the fastest growing real estate brokerage and the company. Um, they are a virtual real estate brokerage and they have a recruiting aspect of it to where if you bring on other realtors, you make a small override, just like you do in any sales organization. Um, if you have a team, you typically get paid an override. The way that we distribute... Thanks. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. The, you know, the way that we distribute it, instead of it going up, you know, seven different managers and uh, leaders, it, it's, if you bring somebody on, you know, you make a small commission, you know, a small portion of the revenue, but on an MLM, MLMs are scams. There's typically no product there and you get paid when you recruit people. Power is a pure sales organization. That's all we do is we sell. When we sell, we make money. We're a sales org. And yeah, you know, just like any sales org, we make, you know, there's overrides for leaders, but that's it. Are you speaking um, to a sales rep a little bit more, Jarrett, or a homeowner? Um, that that's that's me speaking to a sales rep. But if I talk to a homeowner, I let them know. I, I I'm pretty much telling them the same thing. I just let them know that we've modeled EXPs, model it's one of the most successful is Keller Williams, that a lot of businesses. Totally. are structured this way. Um, but I say, you know, the, the truth of the matter is, is we're a sales organization. You know, the MLMs, you get paid for signing people up and building teams. That's not how we're structured. Yes, if we bring another solar pro on board onto our team, 
we make a small commission when they make a sale, but that's just like any sales organization. You know, you're going to have your sales rep, your managers, upper management, your regional management. I said, we're just structured differently. Exactly. That's good. Good. You know, just a couple of thoughts here. The first one is that with the change in the comp plan that we have now, you know, you don't have to, you know, have a certain number of people, you know, on your level one or level two now it's just you earn revenue share so it's you know jonathan budd and the team transitioned you know what most people do in power to more of an affiliate program than anything else so just don't think about or don't forget about the recent comp plan change but also you know whether you're talking to a salesperson or a homeowner understand why you are working with power you know jonathan has here you know why me your story you need to understand how to talk about power and to present that it's it's exciting for you to be able to have so many options, wh whether it's equipment or financing, to be able to customize solutions. You know, most of the solar companies that are out there, especially the larger companies, you know, have fewer options for for homeowners, and so. Figure out what you appreciate about what power and what excites you about power and work that into your story. Because remember that people are buying you. They're not buying solar so much. They're not buying power so much. You're the one that's working with them. So you need to have a compelling story and you need to understand why you're working with power in this conversation. Love it, love it. John, would you like to add something quick on this slide? Yeah, I just want to... Uh chime in anybody who knows anybody successful in insurance like all state insurance any of those insurances quite frankly that's exactly where this override model came from it's the same thing with keller williams which is what exp did to copy them but also in an mlm situation because i dabbled in that and i did not enjoy it because it had this rank advancement thing that they do where you start with a certain quota you have to hit and then you move up to this next tier and then the next tier and if you don't hit keep on the quota you drop back down. We don't have that. From day one, you're getting paid the same as John Bernasso or Tom Cotter or any of these top leaders. So that is completely different. The fact that we don't get paid to recruit and we make no money if somebody joins the team, we pour a bunch of energy and effort into them. If they don't sell something, we don't get anything. We got full skin in the game. It's purely a sales override. It is not MLM at all, actually. It is very similar in the sense that there's override, but override's only based on production. So I just wanted to make sure people know that and that anybody who knows anyone in the insurance game deals with this exact same thing. And they call, they throw out the word MLM to try to put a stink on something, but they did that to EXP. They did it to Keller Williams. They've done it to everybody who's successful. I'm glad to be part of the disruption. And uh, I hope everybody here is too. Be proud of yourself. You're part of a great organization. Love it, love it. Good points. Good points, y'all. Yeah, there's not a single sales organization where there's not overrides. There just isn't. Yeah. Even at that company that starts with an S and ends with a run, right? When I was a regional sales manager there, I got a revenue share from the company on my sales team when they sold projects. Mm -hmm. Same thing at other solar companies, you know, that I were publicly traded solar companies. So it's, you know, it's just that power has flip the model upside down and those are a lot more lucrative here for us right that that's the difference yeah better so articulating that to the client or the sales rep you got some new tools there to do that i've never heard a shit run what is let's that? move up oh gosh let's move on to the second question that can come up uh which we had some leaders ask this actually this last week Client homeowner says, I want a breakdown of all the costs in this price proposal you are giving me. Um, so I have a few quick points here. You know, I have had others ask this or I have, you know, I kind of understand why you're saying this, but explain to me what about the price, you know, you have questions about or what you would like to see a breakdown of. So ask questions, right? Active listening. Too often we go into defense mode or, you know, we don't do that or something like that, right? So this applies, to, honestly, guys, in business, sales, relationships, we don't do it enough. Uh, so ask one or two follow-up questions, listen, acknowledge, and use the feel, felt, found method. 
Um, one analogy I will throw out there is, you know, when you purchased your last car, what do you drive, Mr. Homeowner? Oh, a Mercedes. Okay, great. You don't drive a Kia. Did they give you a breakdown of the heat pump and the transmission and the exhaust or the maybe the leather interior you have or the sound system? Do you know how much the sound system was? You know, so just like that, there's hundreds of components in this solar system engineering. Um, so it is, you know, tough to give a breakdown of that like a car. And then what about the price do you want more information on, right? So asking those questions about what they want. And then you can say, um, you know, I just want to make sure we're on the same page. The pricing includes labor. There's going to be a crew of three to five guys out there from sunup to sundown. There's going to be multiple visits, inspections, survey are going to go out, engineering, design. We're going to have our interconnection team do all the documentation throughout the whole process. We have a warranty to take care of, right? You want us to be in business and sustainable and take care of our clients. The panels are one of the biggest prices. The inverters is one of the biggest prices. The racking, the footing, this commercial grade sealant that we use. The price of the permits, that can be 600 bucks to 2000 bucks. And then the designs and revisions and also the financing costs, whether it's a loan or whether it's a lease. Um, so these are all the big chunks, you know, Mr. Homeowner, that, that goes into this. And I've done this once or twice. I've, you know, I have given a rough breakdown. I will, I will pad them or I will round up or I will combine a few chunks of the cost of goods model, which no other company is giving you guys that transparency. And so if I need to, I will put, you know, eight, seven, nine items in a rough, rough breakdown if they're really pushing me on it um, and just kind of make it padded and, and inflate them a bit and just show them a few of these chunks and combine a few things. So hopefully that answers that question. I forget if uh, Tracy asked that or another leader in the chat asked that yesterday, but anything to add, gentlemen? I'll, I'll say you can use ChatGPT to coach you in handling this objection and other objections in whoever is your favorite sales trainer, whether that's Zig Ziglar, Jeremy Miner, you know, whoever it is. You can just tell ChatGPT, um, I'm a solar salesperson. I got this objection from a homeowner. In the method of Tony Robbins sales coaching, coach me in how to handle this objection that I'm going to list now and give the objection and chat GPT will coach you depending on if you have a paid account or not. Um, it can actually be interactive with you as well. Tom, you're a genius. There you go. I don't even know why we have these trainings guys. You could just use chat GPT. Okay. We will end the training now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Chat GBT is ridiculous, guys. This is my free account here. Um, great reminder, Tom. All right. Next question. Does power use subs, subcontractors? I heard I don't want that. I'm going to pause here for a second and let you know that every single solar company I've worked at in, in my nine years uses subs, whether it's a roofing sub or whether it's an installer crew, Sunrun Corporate guys used a sub to install when they got busy. Uh, you know, other large nationwide companies out there you may have heard of uses subs to do the lab and plaster on MPUs. So you got some random guys showing up to do the lab and plaster at one of the biggest companies that don't use subs, quote unquote. Their MPUs are often done by subs and their roofing is done by subs. So no matter what company it's at, I just want to pause there and say, guys, most everyone uses subs, unless it's like a small local regional that maybe they don't, but often most companies do uh, use subs. So what I recommend when I get this question, obviously same thing, feel felt found, active listening. What about this gives you pause? What about this, um, you know, have you heard is challenging. And often they'll say, oh, well, then I, I can't go to you or power. I have to go to them. 
okay, that's fair. I'm going to address that. Others have felt that way. And then I'm going to tell you what they found here. Obviously, you can share the Inc. 5000 article, the impact report. Uh, same thing, the why power, why me, your story, speaking to the sustainable model when others have gone bankrupt. But it's important to note here that power and the seller, you will always contact me first, Mr. Homeowner. You always contact power, never the sub, because we control the contract. We control the funding. We control the, the permits, um, the chat, the project management, the service. It's always us um, because if, if a small local regional installer does go under, you have the umbrella of a nationwide platform. And I want to really hit on this, guys, for a second. It's really important, I think, that we can start using the narrative. You get the best of both worlds. You get the absolute best local hired labor in your community, proven track record, installing and building it. And then you get the best nationwide platform, the umbrella, the service, the chat, the sustainable model, you know, the Inc. 5,000, four years in a row, you get the best of both worlds. I want to emphasize that, right? That is such an important narrative. We heard today, Hawaii Unified and Power. Gaiu Construction in Southern California are one of our premier partners, 1,100 reviews online and power. RG Electric in Nevada, Vegas, Lee with Safe Haven. Um, and so that I think is really, really powerful. That's actually won me deals when you can communicate it in, in that way. So Jared, Tom, you know, anyone else? Uh, I don't wanna use subcontractors. Yeah, well, you know, Mr. Homeowner, I, I completely understand there's been nightmare situations. You hear about people using subcontractors. I First of all, I just want to let you know, any company who's nationwide and has a reach like Power does, you know, in 27, 30 plus states, everybody uses subcontractors in some form or another. Now, with us, how our business model works is we use vetted local install partners who, so you're getting the best of both worlds, right? You're going to get local company who's going to do the work, engineering, designing, all of that. But power, us being a national powerhouse, that's something that you're going to want in solar. Unfortunately, we've seen over the years too many local small mom and pop solar companies go under. Um, that's why you want the backing of a nationwide company Inc. 5,000, four years in a row, who's financially stable, who's going to be around 10, 20, 30 years. So where I understand, you know, there have been horror stories with subs, but to be quite frank, all nationwide companies do use sub dealerships. I mean, sorry, uh, subcontractors. And, uh, but once again, you're going to get the best of both worlds with us. Yeah. The fact that we control all the aspects too is very unique. Um, it's you don't have to go off and ask someone else. It is always me. It is always power, which I love. All right. Jared, Tom, you know, guys, uh, it was great meeting you on the Zoom call the other day, but my wife and I Googled you guys and uh, boy, there are some horror stories out there. And, you know, we just want to put this on hold. I don't know if this is right. No, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> and then I say, sign now. No, just joking. But no, listen, I, I, you, you saw some reviews online, weren't favorable. I'll, I'll tell you this much. Um, every single company, this is, we're talking about construction here. Every con, you know, construction company, solar company, is going to have negative reviews and you're going to see more negative reviews than positive reviews. Cause that's when typically people go online is to, you know, because if something happened they want to complain about it, I will tell you this though, you know, we've done 30,000 plus installations. Um, I have personally helped out hundreds of homeowners make this transition over to solar. You will not find a single bad review 
with my name on it. Um, yes, we do have hundreds and thousands of reps. You know, we have thousands of reps nationwide. Not all reps are created equal. Um, and that's why it's very important that you pick the right solar representative that's going to be a liaison between you and the company and who's going to be with you, not just before, but during, but after your solar is installed. Um, so yes, definitely you can, you can find a bad review on any company. We're not the only company that has bad reviews, but if you do look online, you will see five-star reviews with my name on it. Cause I am the difference maker. Boom. I like that. I think one of the ultimate ways to kind of counter this is, you know, is to have testimonials built up. I was just looking at a, a new tool, at least to me, that I just put the link to in the chat, testimony, testimonial.to. Um, that, Trustpilot, other things, I think, uh, you know, you want to make it easy for customers to give you referrals. I think having five bullet points that you want a customer to answer in a referral for you because people don't know what to say. They're like, oh, you know, Jarrett was amazing. You know, when I talked to him on Zoom, he was walking the whole time. You know, he's he's so athletic. You know, they, they don't know what to say. They, you know, the solar, it's on my roof. Um, so give them five bullet points of, the, of what you want them to talk about in the referral. And then preemptively on your proposal even, you know, share the link with them and show them the referrals because again, people are buying you more than they're buying power, more than they're buying solar. If you work with power, if you have great customer experience and testimonials, then it, it's not really going to matter if somebody, you know, had a bad experience online, you know, and one of the things that I've done in the past is I've shared, um, you know, one of the challenges in our industry is, you know, salespeople setting poor expectations with how things are going to work or timelines. So that's why, you know, we spent five or 10 minutes, you know, when we met talking about the steps or what was going to happen, how long it was going to take. Um, so be professional, explain those things and explain how salespeople that shortcut themselves, shortcut the process can cause a bad customer experience, but you work off of mostly referrals. So it's really important, even more important that uh, that customer has a great experience. 100%. And guys, when you look at, you know, Sunrun, Corporate, Tesla, Solar, Freedom, Solar, whatever it is, that they're actually a lot worse than power. Not that that's, uh, you know, what's going to solve this question here. But like, even on Google, if you just Google power Carlsbad, 270 reviews, four and a half stars. Um, the face. Cynthia, did you have something you wanted to add to this? I saw your hand raised. Oh yeah, sure. I think that when people mention reviews too, I, I always respond with, Oh, were they about me? And they get confused for a second. And I, oh, I, it always works well to respond with, you know, I do find, I hear you, a lot of companies have negative reviews, including us. And what I find is they're usually related to the sales rep, lack of communication, lack of expectation setting. And then I'll go on to explain to them how that would not happen with me because of X, Y, Z. And then like Tom said, having your reviews queued up so that you can respond with saying, let me send you my reviews on how it would be doing business with me instead, because it is very much like choosing a real estate agent, right? Sometimes it's a lot more important than the company they actually go with. Um, you never know what company usually a real estate agent is working for, but you know the, the person and the experience you're getting. Choosing a solar company and a solar rep is, is very, very similar. So that always works really well. For that objection so just wanted to share that i love that god you you see why cynthia is you know such a premier closer and top rep and I, you absolutely nailed that cynthia and, and the response catching them off <laughs> oh you saw a bad review with my with, about me and they go well uh, the, and then you just explain, yeah, reviews are mainly about individual sales reps. 
And you're not going to find that. And here's my catalog of five star reviews that quickly turns that around. Boom. Hey, Tom. What's up, John? Uh, real quick, I was going to say, I'm also a pro account. I'm sure a lot of the guys on this call are. And so I always use that I'm going to be handpicking the crew for the client to make sure that their experience is the best it can possibly be. If you visited any of these installer partners, they're vetting their own guys with like background checks and, and random alcohol tests and all kinds of stuff that not every partner we have is going to do. So that gives you that ability to differentiate yourself. And that seems to work really well. People like me picking a crew for them because they know my reputation and my likelihood of referral is riding on it. And that's, I think that's, that just works really, really well. Yeah. Good shout out there that the seller pro account or the enterprise account do get to pick the partner. Uh, if you have one of those memberships that are a little bit more per month, you can always put a request in project handoff notes. It's not as guaranteed, um, but definitely a good reminder there to, uh, to do that. Well, I think that brings us to the end of our training. Uh, Jared, I'm not sure if you have 10 minutes to hang out for some office hours Q&A here. It looks like we have a question or two in the chat, but uh, thank you, Jared. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. We're going to go ahead and end this recording and training for now, and then we'll hang out and probably do uh, you know, five, 10 minutes Q&A here as well. So sounds like a plan. All right, you guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning into this episode. If you haven't already, subscribe to the podcast wherever you're listening. You can also follow me on the socials, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. All those links will be listed below. Now, if you're looking to get started on the path to selling solar virtually, look no further than Power. Power is a decentralized solar platform that gives you the ability to sell 100% virtually in 25 plus states and growing. Their platform gives you the advantage to offer your clients a variety of different panels, inverters, roofs, batteries, and even EV chargers. Brands include Enphase, SolarEdge, Tesla, Franklin, and Span Smart Panels. Power offers multiple zero down financing options, including loans, PPAs, and leases. And with their revolutionary cost of goods sold model, five different streams of income, and world-class training, there is nothing else like it in the solar industry. If you're looking to get started, go to power.com. That's P-O-W-U-R.com slash virtual solar pro slash join and start selling solar virtually today.